Air pollution has changed significantly since the 1980s. Carbon dioxide emissions have gone up dramatically, though the smoggy mess of the 70s and 80s has largely evaporated. And it's that lack of smog and particulate matter which has allowed tropical storms to become much more common. In the 70s and 80s, smoke and smog from cars, trucks, and industries produced huge quantities of tiny particles known as aerosols that floated through the atmosphere. The tiny particles created a haze that scattered a small portion of sunlight and actually worked to cool the Earth a little bit. This worked to offset a portion of the human-caused global warming from carbon dioxide, also admitted at the time. Nowadays, the smoke and smog levels are far lower as cleaner fuels, catalytic converters, and stricter pollution regulations have made the smoke-choked cities mostly a thing of the past, at least in the U.S. and Europe. But during that time, the planet has continued to warm due to humans burning fossil fuels and releasing more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The difference is now there isn't the smoggy haze to filter out some of the sunlight. And the clearer the skies, the more energy the sun can pump directly into the ocean. Now, hurricanes need two things to form, warm water and low wind shear. That wind shear is most easily created by the jet stream. As the air clears out, it warms the ocean water, which can be seen in higher sea surface temperatures. At the same time, the warmer temperatures in the tropics pushes that jet stream farther to the north. The jet stream also works to pull storms out into the ocean and away from the U.S. coastline. But the absence of jet stream wind shear means that storms can more easily form over the tropics and head farther farther off to the west. So with a weaker jet stream and higher ocean temperatures, tropical storms can become stronger, larger, and more dangerous than ever before. This can be balanced somewhat by natural oscillations like El Nino and La Nina years, but the overall trend is for stronger, more frequent hurricanes with heavier rain and larger storm surges. As the planet continues to warm, the hurricane season will steadily become longer with more intense hurricanes. This year, Colorado State University is forecasting 19 tropical storms with nine hurricanes and four category three or stronger. Another above average hurricane season. Ironically, the opposite is happening in the Western Pacific. That is due to the much dirtier pollution emitted by the Southeast Asian countries. Carbon dioxide and particulate emissions from coal-fired power plants and dirtier cars and truck emissions produces more smoke and smog across the region. That pollution will temporarily limit tropical storm formation, but once the smoke and smog clears out, the hurricanes will be more common and stronger in the Western Pacific. Carlo Falco, Fox 7 Austin Weather.